Another thing that people have been asking for a lot are multifunction printers. These are devices that print, scan, and fax all in one unit. Well, there are three of them being introduced at the show today. Two by Epson. Epson's got a great one for the consumer. Again, print, scan, and fax. And for a little bit more money, they've got one with a flatbed scanner on it. These are extremely high resolution, beautiful color devices, all USB. Canon is also introducing one at the show. You can see all of these in our booth. So we are really, really happy with the progress of Universal Serial Bus, and of course we are rolling it out across our entire product line. Another thing that's happened in IMAX first year is there have been almost 4,000 new and renewed Macintosh applications announced since IMAX shipped on August 15th. <laughs> and this is essential. It means that developers are coming back to the Mac and are recommitting to the Mac in a very big way. And this is one of the most important things we do and I think we've seen a tremendous amount of success during the last year. And I'd like to highlight just a few of those for you now. One is Disney. Disney does great CD-ROM products around their films. And again, I'm very pleased to report that when Toy Story comes out, they're coming out with four great CD-ROMs, all four on the Mac, day and date with the movie. So they're doing some wonderful family products on the Mac that will be coming out this fall. Another one I'd like to highlight is a game from Bungie. <clears throat> now, we put an initiative in place to get games back to the Mac. For some reason, uh, Apple forgot about gaming. And gaming is really great. So we went to the best game authors in the world and we let them beat us up. And, and, and they did. And they told us what we needed. They said, you need much better hardware 3D acceleration, and you need to choose the highest performance software to interact with that so we have a great software platform upon which to write our games. And that software platform is OpenGL. And so we started building much higher performance 3D hardware into every computer we make, and we adopted OpenGL and implemented it, and we now have one of the fastest, cleanest implementations of OpenGL out there. So we are starting to see some great games come back to the Mac, but this is one of the coolest I've ever seen. This game is going to ship early next year from Bungie, and this is the first time anybody has ever seen it. It's the first time they've debuted it. And so I'm very happy to uh, welcome on the stage Jason Jones, who is the co-founder of Bungie, and the Halo Project lead. Halo is the name of this game, and we're going to see, for the first time, Halo. Welcome, Jason. Thank you. So, our game's called Halo, and like Steve said, nobody's seen it before. This is the first time we've ever showed it in public. Halo's an action game, so you'll be able to play it by yourself. Even better, be able to get on the internet, play it with your friends online. Our multiplayer games can be heavily, heavily focused on cooperative team play rather than playing as an individual. QuickTime's really cool, but what I'm about to show you is not a QuickTime movie. Everything you're about to see is being rendered in real time on a Macintosh using OpenGL.
but Halo is still a work in progress, and when it comes out first half of next year, it's going to be even better. Thanks, everybody. That's the best yet, isn't it? Isn't that awesome? One more thing to show you today in the application side. We are um, really pleased to announce that IBM is going to be bringing their via voice speech recognition technology to the Mac. And this stuff is world class stuff. It's, it's wonderful. And uh, I am very pleased to invite. Ozzy Osbourne up on stage. Ozzy's the general manager of IBM Speech Systems. They're going to give us a demo. Ozzy. Hi, Steve. Thank you. Steve, it's great to be here. IBM and Apple have had a long relationship over the past years, and it's just great to be able to announce our leadership speech technology via voice on the Mac platform. We really are excited. I think this is the first in a long story about where we're going to get to in speech enabling an easy to use interface, the Mac, and we're going to make it easier with voice recognition. But instead of talking about it, I think the best thing to do is to demonstrate it. What I'd like to do is introduce Jeff Kuznets from our development lab to come up and give us a show. So Jeff, come on up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Um, okay. I guess First thing first, put the microphone on. You'll notice it's a really cool microphone. It was actually specially designed for Via Voice for the Macintosh, and of course, color coordinated to go with the Macintosh. <laughs> Mom, comma, new paragraph. Check it out, exclamation point. I'm sitting on a stage in New York City with Steve and Ozzy, period. No, comma, not that Ozzy, period. This one doesn't eat that period. He talks to computers, period. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now, semicolon. Sitting here talking to a blue Apple Macintosh using via voice for the Macintosh, period. Thanks for the Microsoft Word. And we're done. So you can see that we have some great technology. It's great to be on the Mac platform. We have a lot more to show you. If you come by our booth, we can give you a great demonstration. And we are raffling off iMacs uh, one a day. So come see us in the consumer booth. Thanks, Steve. And it's great to be back with Apple. Thank you.